Hey guys, good morning to all of you. It's April 4. It's the third trading day of the quarter. It's the third trading day of the week, third trading day of the month. It's a new chance for you guys to take advantage of what's happening in the Philippine Stock Exchange. So, just a quick update on what's happening in the index. The market is up slightly at the opening. It's around 8,077.42. However, in spite of it being up, um, we've been up for the past three days already, but in the context of technical analysis, we still haven't muster the strength to go above 8,100. I mentioned this in previous videos that we have a very very strong resistance at 8,1. The previous support was at 8,1 but since it was broken it now is our resistance level. So why am I saying this? Nothing significant will happen. No, there will be no significant moves until we stay above 8,100. We must stay at 8 or go above 8,100 to see that to give a possibility for a reversal. So a couple of things are changing though. Uh, for those who are using technical analysis, I hope your charts are open while we're looking at this. As of the closing yesterday, MACD is already showing a change in direction. As of uh, all based as compared to all of the other indicators that we have in technical analysis that's the only uh, reversal signal we have at this point in time ADX signals are still bearish uh, short-term moving averages and talking about the 20-day moving average still uh, bearish and it's still sloping down you have your 50 100 200 day moving averages which are still bearish as well the market will reverse faster upward if we break past the 200 day moving average but if we don't break past that the market won't go any higher so please take note if we don't break 8.1, the market will just go from 8.1 to 7.9 7, 7, to around 7.7, 7, which is where we have a relatively strong support. But if we break past 8.1, we have now a shot of going to 8.2, which is where the 200-day moving average is. And the range will be 8.1 to 8.5 over the short to midterm. Uh, I, I forgot to mention that uh, majority of the oscillators for, from price and momentum, price and volume, uh, to other chart overlays are still denoting a bearish undertone so it would be very prudent to not come in yet until there's any legit uh, signs of reversal but for those who are willing to take the risk MACD is already showing a change in direction upward we don't know yet though if it's strong enough to make it relatively bullish as well so from that standpoint also let's look at global news as well i think one of the global fears or glo uh, things that are causing anxiety to a lot of investors not just in the philippines is the possibility the, the the possibility of a greater trade war already. Trump just uh, announced that there will be 1,300 worth of products, I think, or companies that will be slashed with, I think, more than 20 plus percent uh, tariffs or taxes, which uh, I believe China will respond as well. So let's see how this develops, but this creates a risk of sentiment to a lot of investors globally. That's why you're seeing glo uh, gold, that globe gold, uh, spike up over the past few weeks. That's why it's moving up is because every time there's uncertainty in markets every time there's uncertainty in the world uh, you see people go to something that's relatively safe or of a safer haven as well so uh, let's see how this develops in the next few weeks let's see how this develops also today but uh, for those who are positioning also and looking at select stocks there are a lot of select stocks already that are cheap there are a lot of select stocks already that are oversold and are bouncing off support levels. So for those who are trading individual stocks, you can actually use that and use and make that as an opportunity for you to uh, t trade the markets and also take advantage of what's happening now. You have to remember, you know, when things are fearful, when there's a lot of blood in the streets, it, those that, that becomes an opportunity also for you to make money off of it. Money can be made when there's a lot of fear, but do not just buy it because of fear. Use the charts, use the technicals or also to allow you to define areas of opportunities for you to make money in the market and that's it i'll be in cebu this weekend already it's two days or three days before stock smart cebu i'm excited for that two weeks before stock smarts in korea and a month before stock smarts in singapore so to all of our kababayans there i hope videos like this uh encourage you and also give you the i guess the proper knowledge and the confidence also to invest the markets because I really believe it's our time as Filipinos to invest. It's our time to make money based on what's happening in the market. So that's it for now. Marvin Germo here in BGC. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon.